It's locked, all right. This must be part of the main open world or something. It's kind of just running with the assumption that we might be able to open that stuff later. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. So we're adapting. Really a nice environment, like details everywhere. What will London have to say to me? Don't bite me? It's probably like the f number one thing I would say. Please don't bite me That's and so then kill me. And draining my entire essence so that you can live for 10 more minutes. That's probably what they'd say. You know, if they knew. Another corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Oh. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. Got the Batman vision, the Witcher sense. Or other applicable. Ooh, it's over here. Secret? Did I see something over there? Probably not. I saw that shimmer. There's no animation, it just is open instantly. What's in here? This is a slaughterhouse. It's ah. locked, all right. The dead are just everywhere. That leg looks broken? That looks like a bad time. Ah. No. It's locked. Do we get- I wonder if we get to the ability to lockpick. Or any other way of circumventing that. Or if there's- or if all of these do have an applicable key somewhere. Where has everyone gone? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. This definitely seems like one of those settings where all the killing you do might be more in tune with the setting. As opposed to you just randomly just murdering people in a peaceful area. You found a new hideout. You can spend your XP while resting. On, while crafting... Oh, or craft items at the workbench. These are all on my map then? So there's a hideout. There's my previous one on the map. I think this is my first hideout that's permanent. I think the other one was like a temporary spot. But I guess the whole game probably takes place in this limited area. So we're probably gonna get familiar. No, refill all. If I had stuff in the stash, which I don't. Oh, nothing down here. All right, out of curiosity, can I afford anything? Hard biting, increased damage of your bite in combat. Increased life regeneration of bite in combat. Only 5% heal though. Increases your blood capacity, increase your uh, blood absorption while using bite in combat, that's pretty good. Increased health, stamina, 
Carry three serums. Increase the number of bullets you can carry. Pretty straightforward upgrades to have access to. Coagulation. You can block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Ugh. That's horrible. Blood barrier. You create an invisible barrier, absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. It's invisible? You, th you think it'd be made of blood? Rage. You lose control. Let the beast take over you for a short time. The beast teleports itself to all enemies around you and strikes them with furious blows. You need to be level 10 for that, for these ultimate skills. Abyss. You create a shadow vortex at your target's feet. Coming to life, the shadows interrupt an enemy in the area and inflict tremendous damage. Blood Cauldron. You focus your power to boil your target's blood causing it to violently explode, dealing damage to the target and, and anything nearby. Spring. You perform a supernatural move to your target and cause damage upon landing. Just jump at them. Shadow Veil. Toggle. Drain your stamina to fade into shadows and become invisible to most enemies. Moving in this state will drain more stamina. You will exit the shadows if you attack or dodge, or when your stamina is empty. Hmm. I imagine you can ambush or maybe avoid combat if you need to for some reason. What does upgrading this thing cost? 2,000. Yeah, pumping that up is going to be expensive. More health is reasonable. I do like the big thirst idea though. Let's go for that. Whoa. Very long linear series of upgrades there. One, two, three. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. What's up with that? Level 6 required. 8, 10. You can go up to level 20? I'm not sure what the Roman numerals are for then. So low. Oh, so you can't. We can get the first rank. Next one. I'm, I'm locked by what level I am though. Which I can now afford. I don't have 300 for it, but I guess buying that made me level 4. Hmm. Is it because we started at level 1 that I bought these three things and that made me level 4? So everything you buy, every time you buy one thing, it counts as being the next level. Everything was 300, right? So I can't afford anything? Yeah. So there's an explicit reference to the idea that if you do that, you're skipping forward in time. I wonder if that affects the story. We can craft here. On a workbench, you can craft medical treatments to heal sick citizens, serums to boost yourself, weapon upgrades to improve and customize your weapons. This is to analyze. Got nothing to put there. Treatments. I have no ingredients for these things anyway. Here's upgrades. We do not have the parts. Hmm. These are items that we can sell at a vendor to get currency. Currently we have three, we only have 38 coins right now. Or we can recycle it into those parts. Which can affect our ability to craft things. Spring screw grease. Would that be enough to actually upgrade something? We need trigger parts for that. Nope. There's not really, not, not really the most relevant pieces of scavenge. And even stuff like the spring and screw, I need like five of those. Not gonna get much done for now. Sleeping a lot though. We hack and slash our way down like a hallway or an alley. And then we, then we go and, and we level up and we skip to the next day. I 
I saw that. Torn off page of a diary. For looking away when they mock my color, I hate myself. For crying like a girl when they insult me, I hate myself. For swearing like a boy when they're gone, I hate myself. For hating my parents, I hate myself. For smiling when customers call me sad Brina, I hate myself. For never finding the courage to tell Tom how I truly feel, I hate myself. Someone had a happy time. Quest item. Quest item? For what quest? Maybe one we don't know about yet. Interesting. Ooh. Citizen hints. You discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to them. Sabrina hides her true feelings about her boss, Tom Watts. As a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality bar indicates the XP you would earn if you feed on the citizen. Unlock hints to increase the amount of XP. There's the thing where we're like seasoning these people so we can consume them for maximum boost. Those are the first named and faced character we have that's currently alive. Because the only other character we've met is very dead. Well then, all the more reason to very carefully check environments now. We've seem to have left the part of the game where that's not relevant at the beginning. That's some pretty alright atmosphere right there. Look at that. Does this make lootable items stand out? It's locked. It won't open from this side. Let's stick with the trail of blood for now. And any shinies I can find on my way there. Of course. Oh hey, that's the exact person. Sabrina Cavendish. I didn't deserve At last, a little life. Welcome, hey. sir, to the Turquoise Turtle. You guys aren't freaking out about my appearance at all? Not long ago, this sort of Are they stupid or something? Me a laugh. I've never even been to India. I just, I, I guess it, I didn't think to change my shirt. Find one. I was just in somebody's house. I could have found a wardrobe Where somewhere. Maybe the killer recently entered this bar. Maybe some of the locals saw him. I think I'm losing my mind. But I don't know anyone around I here. Just run as far away from this place as I can. There's got to be some. Why? Why is this happening? Hello, sir. Are you alright? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. It's a good thing you can't see me now, Mum. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. The turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. 
Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, i best check on them. Nope, oh, sometimes they don't quite match the subtitles, do they? No one... I was going to say no one's reacting to me being covered in blood, but that might be why she wants to get away from me. I'll leave then. Thank you. Why is it happening? He's periodically opening the pause menu. I'm not doing anything. Must be a weird bug. Oh well, it doesn't affect anything. I just gotta leave it periodically. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Has anybody entered the bar recently? I can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. I blamed a sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. He's shockingly lucid for somebody that's, like, staggering from how drunk they are. I'll leave you to your bottle, then. I'm so happy that when you hit back during dialogue, it just goes back silently. Your character doesn't awkwardly go like, I would like to talk about something else. And then they're like, all right, then. And like, which is like the weird, the weird moments in, in games where they, they feel the need to articulate that you're changing menus. Oh, God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well-dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh, yes, no funny business, you hear me? 
This is a respectable establishment. Heard him open his window. He might have left then. He might have hopped out. Or maybe he's opening his window and going out to stalk the streets to hunt. If he is, well, a vampire. Do you react if I go back here? Not that kind of game. Good to, te good to test early on. Never, you know, never know which type of game you're going to deal with until you ch you check. Those wet boot boys. Who the hell are you talking about? Do we do the rule? So we're not doing the, the reflections rule. I have a reflection, seemingly. Are we doing the rule where vampires can't pass running water without being shepherded across or something? That was a really big, important rule for the for the television show, uh, The Strain. Because it, it was an apocalypse on New York. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Hmm. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. Who are you? I mean you no harm, saith the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. Would anyone... Well, that's something I can do for you. God damn. And who might you be? They've come up with some really cool visualizations for all these vampire effects. So they, they encourage you to hit select and open up the... The perks, not perks, the information menu about any particular character you encounter with for dialogue. They actually prompt you for it. Huh. Actually very similar to the game I was playing recently called The Council. Or am still playing technically and waiting for the episodes to come out. He has three hints I need to find. He's healthy. Dr. Edgar Swansea. He's the pillar of the community, but of a district I don't know about yet. A healthy district, apparently. Unlike that one. There's Dyson Delaney. Ah, oh, you can treat his fatigue. And that increases the quality of his blood. Tom Watts. There's some interesting- okay, there's little details filling in over time. I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. And what exactly is this Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been 
shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here, famished, reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I've no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. Then help me find the culprit. I may, if you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail, the scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. I'm certain we shall meet again. Sorry for just barging in. Now I'm just gonna take your money from right in front of you. Is there any more money over here to steal from you? Did they open the window? She fled down to the dock. Probably, yeah. She fled the dock when she heard me coming. And he won't reveal that she exists. She's, she's got to be a vampire. We heard that. We heard a sound. We heard a very vampire-y sound. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. It's got to be something. Someone must know something. So far, they've got the coolest visualizations for vampire effects. Seeing only like having your having your ear. You're hearing deafened, like you've been shell shocked, and then it's just seeing their circulatory system as being a symbol of the hunger and how it blinds you, and then that that cross just knocking me out more or less, and the effect that it showed on the screen. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Doctor Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight, and I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin, his hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. We've got to find some clothes. Desperately. 
Tom and William Bishop used to be good friends and in the same social circle as Sabrina. Three what? Three... Is that the influence we have over their brains, maybe? Since that's what vampires do, they entrance people. What's the yellow mark for? Is that just the fact that I can heal him? Yep, that's the... 30% loss of blood quality from fatigue. How bizarre is it to have a population of characters that are all... They're all developed individuals with, like... Storylines and personalities and physical appearances and names. Like, they're not random crowd members. And yet they're all... Objectified, basically. They're all... They're all summarized as the blood quality that they're worth. It's really tempting to go either way. Like, trying to embrace all the storylines or trying to just, like, cook these people up and take full advantage. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. I'll leave you to your bottle, then. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. As a vampire, you can fa force a citizen to reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Blue prompt. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong, now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Realize right there at the end that you can actually move the camera around during dialogue. Within a certain range, at the very least. Our character's adapting to his new, his power, his new powers quickly. We, uh, can temporarily mind control people, sort of. We can compel them to answer a question truthfully. Even if they're trying desperately not to. I'm really tempted to just be a- just to be a killer in this game. It's really tempting. It's just that, like... The usual instinct with RPGs is to follow every storyline as far as you can and dig up every little detail and, and thing. But it's really exciting to have a genuinely different and new thing. And the idea of harvesting the population is really exciting just because it diverges so much from what you expect. It's, it's a way of... It's the route that might miss some stuff and be somewhat uh, frustrating in traditional RPG terms, but it could be or it could be a thing that really sets this game apart and makes the experience particularly interesting and unique. And that's why I'm so that's why I'm so engaged in that idea and it's drawing me in a little bit. We'll see what I do.